February 9th, 2023 was a massive blow for the entire cryptocurrency industry, particularly in the United States of America. Here's what happened. If you can see this video, make sure to drop a comment, like, and share this. We need to boost this information out. The SEC went after Kraken and their staking services. Kraken provides centralized staking services for United States residents and global citizens. This basically means you could take some of your cryptocurrency, always a moon bag, leave it on the exchange and earn passive income yield. Your bank does the same, but they only give you approximately 0.01 to 0.03%. Kraken and other centralized cryptocurrency exchanges could give you more. And instead of fighting against the SEC, Kraken simply agreed and decided to pay the $30 million fine and shut down their staking services for United States residents. Now this causes a massive problem because that means your chance to earn passive income on a centralized exchange in the United States of America is now gone. And I do believe that other countries will probably use this president going forward. What this is, Gary Gensler is stating that all cryptocurrencies are unregistered securities, and the yield you're getting is also unregistered securities. Now, this isn't set in stone yet that all cryptocurrencies are unregistered securities. However, this is the precedent that's being set moving forward. And if you're a retail investor, somebody like me, somebody that doesn't make $250,000 a year or have a bunch of money, this means you are not going to be able to make as much money in crypto. Yes, you can go ahead and use decentralized staking services for now. But remember, MetaMask came out and said that they're going to be tracking and reporting you. Plus, we have OFAC. So if you're somebody in the United States, it's going to be an uphill battle for us to stake even on decentralized services in the future. That's just my opinion. We had Hester Bierce come out and basically say that she was ashamed with the SEC's action. She is a current SEC commissioner, has always been a champion for cryptocurrency. Tom Emmer, Majority House Whip, also said that staking is crucial to the cryptocurrency environment because it allows people to participate and utilize networks. And building the next generation of the internet, and he's 100% true. That's the purpose of staking, is to help the networks. But because you're earning rewards, the SEC wants to attack this method. And this is probably because it impacts the banks. Why would anybody want to use a bank earning 0.01% when they can simply take their fiat, convert it into USDC or USDT, not financial advice, and earn maybe 1% yield or 3% yield? We also had Brian Armstrong speak out vocally about this, and he's right. However, I don't necessarily think Coinbase will fight the SEC. Another disturbing thing about this is Jesse Powell, the CEO of Kraken, came out and said that he hopes that somebody with enough money can stand up to the SEC and provide a friendly, safe, version of staking for U.S. residents. Jesse went on to further say that the SEC went after Kraken because they have all their financials, they just laid off 30% of their workforce, and it's a bear market. They don't have the resources. I agree with him.